what is up guys and welcome back so you can see that now our domain has been propagated and it's been like only 30 minutes not more than that and you can see that if i refresh this you can see that this page is being loaded so this is how it works if i want to add anything right here this will appear okay so let's just check this okay if i want to add a file i'm just going to come here i'm going to hit add file and the file name is going to be um hello dot ht ml okay and i want to hit create new file so there you can see that it says hello.html i want to edit this html edit okay and let's hit edit so here now you can see that i will edit this whole html and then let's see how this file is gonna look so i want to add hello world okay and i'm gonna hit save now so now let's go ahead and let's view our page. Let's come here and I want to hit this. So here, if I now refresh my this page, you're going to see how this is going to look. You can see that hello.html is coming. And if I open this up, you can see this is coming hello world. So this is how our this domain is propagated. And this is basically called root editor. Okay. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to delete this file. Okay. I'm going to come here. I'm going to hit delete. There we go. Now what I want, I want to install WordPress in this. Okay, so how I'm gonna install this. So we know the first method that how a WordPress is installed. You just have to go to the build a new WordPress site. Okay, and then you have to select your domain name. Okay, so our domain name would be completewpcourse.com. Okay, and I want to just hit next and the WordPress will be installed in my this directory. So this directory is basically referring to this home or root directory. And this root directory is basically this one. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to then just hit next and then you have to hit blog title, admin user, first name, last name and admin email and then WordPress will be installed on this. But instead, we will be using a different method today. I'm gonna show you how this is gonna look, okay? So what you have to do, you have to just close this window right now, okay? You have to go to the HostGator main panel, okay? And you have to come here, and we basically need to install WordPress in it. So how we're gonna do this, let me close all these tabs. Okay, I wanna go to WP, dot org okay it's going to redirect you to wordpress.org okay and then you have to download wordpress you have to just hit this it's going to tell you to download you have to just hit download and it will be downloaded so let's go ahead and let's hit download if existing file is complete show download complete otherwise resume it okay you can see that wordpress is right here the wordpress downloading has been completed i have to open the folder this is the folder that is right here. I want to just um, extract it. Okay, so let's hit extract. Let's hit cancel. Let's just um, delete this file. Okay, because I have this file right now already and this is creating some mess. So here should be WordPress. Okay, this is the WordPress. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna hit extract. And you can see that WordPress should be extracted right now. So here is the WordPress right now. I'm just gonna come here and here it is, everything. So what I wanna do right now, I just wanna select all here. And I wanna come here and I wanna hit add to archive. And this should be zip. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. And this file is going to be zipped now. So this is my WordPress file, basically. I just wanna come here, I wanna come here and I wanna hit upload. Okay, and here I'm going to upload the file. I'm just gonna hit select file. I'm gonna go to desktop right now. And, sorry, I wanna go to the downloads file, compressed, and then here should be WordPress. And here's the WordPress.zip. I want to just click this and you can see that this WordPress is being uploaded. So after this is uploaded, let's wait till it, till it is uploaded. Okay, you can see that it is 100% complete. I'm going to now go back to 
my this one so it's gonna take me back and you can see wordpress.zip is right here I want to come here and I'm gonna hit extract so it should be extracted let's hit extract files and you can see that wordpress zip has been extracted now what we want we need to reload and you can see that every file is right here I want to just come here and I want to delete this file okay um, let's just hit script trash and delete permanently delete confirm and you can see that everything has been delete uh, the wordpress.zip has been deleted and now let's try to view our website so you can see if I just enter um, sorry complete wpcourse.com you can see a window will appear and it will say to set up my WordPress I'm gonna come here I'm gonna hit English United States I'm gonna click continue and there we go you can see welcome to WordPress before getting started we need some information on the database you'll need to know the following items before proceeding so I want to know the database name database username database password database host and table prefix so what I want to do I want to just go click let's go and here I am in the WordPress database so that my WordPress database name is going to be okay we need to basically create a database now how are we gonna do that we're gonna go down and here it says PHP my admin my SQL databases I want to open this up okay here I have to create a new database and this database is going to be complete C O M C complete WP course okay um, I want to just hit create database the database should be created you can see that the database has been created I'm gonna hit go back and here we go you can see the database has been created now I want to assign this database a user so the database user is going to be my own user so I'm gonna add my own name that is going to be tans I want to enter the password right now so Here we go. The password has been entered. Now what I want to do, um, I want to hit create user. So the user should be created right now. Okay, the user has been created. Now I want to hit go back. Okay, and I want to go down. And you can see that I have these users right here. So this was the user that was automatically created when we installed WordPress from the website essentials okay so now what we want to do is that we want to add the user to the database so I want to add this user to this CWP course database I want to hit add and you can see that I want to hit all privileges and I want to hit make changes here we go I want to go back now and now here you can see that database is this the privileged user is this and everything is totally okay so I want to copy my database name right now I want to come here to this database name and I want to paste it okay I want to same like this I want to enter the username so my username is going to be let's come here and we need to copy this username okay copy come here and paste same like this we want to enter the password okay and the database host is going to be um, localhost and the table prefix so if you want to run multiple WordPress installation in a single database change this so if you want to run a lot of multiple WordPress installation like if you want to install three or four WordPress we will be creating subdomain names here and we will be um, moving on with this so I just want to add a p prefix to be WP um, main okay um, WP main underscore and then this okay so what I have to do I have to now hit submit and you can see okay let's hit try again so there is a problem okay um, I want to come here I want to make this to be okay let's go ahead and let's try to enter this basically I entered the wrong password that is why it gave me an error now let's hit submit 
and you can see that everything is done now what I have to do I have to just hit run the install so you can see that the installation has been completed and now I have to enter the site title username password email and search engine visibility okay so now you can see that uh, inside a WordPress database if I just try to open up the PHP my admin you can see that here would be all my WordPress database files okay um, it is redirecting me let's wait and you can see in this panel I have CWP course so I have no tables found in this right now but once I enter the information I want to enter the information so my site title is going to be um, complete WP course okay my username is going to be my name and here should be my password so and I want to enter my email address okay and I want to hit install WordPress okay so let's hit this and you can see that WordPress has been installed and now when I refresh this you will see that all the WordPress installation is done here in this database so I'm basically telling you that what is the back end of WordPress how WordPress is used how WordPress is made and what are everything so you can see that in this WP main underscore options I have these my URL home blog name blog description admin email and everything right here so this is how it works this is basically WP main underscore options this is the WP main underscore users where I will have every user right here where I will have my password save and everything so everything is saved in this um, basically my SQL password okay so this is how it is working um, if I just come here and I just um, basically hit login let's hit login and you can see now I want to add just um, my this and I want to also add the password okay here we go you can see that I am in the dashboard um, I can now just hit please update now so you need to update it uh, I'm just gonna hit update now and it is updating here we go you can see that WordPress 4.9.1 has been updated so this is how our WordPress is looking we have our complete wbcourse.com up and running totally okay so you can see so this will be our basically the we will create our complete WP course we'll add information about it that what this complete WP course is about but we will but we will be doing that in the later on first I will just create a subdomain name okay I'll show you how to create a subdomain name and how can you create so many websites in this so basically I want to create um, so many websites in this okay I want to show you each and everything that how WordPress is worked how can you create different type of websites with WordPress okay so I'll show you everything and we will be moving on with this in the upcoming video so stay tuned guys and bye bye